what is going on connectors happy holidays to you all who those who guys those of you guys that celebrate christmas and stuff happy holidays guys i wish that you get everything and have got everything that you've hoped and prayed for and even more all right so let's tap in let me pay it forward let me be at service to you guys and see what's unfolding for the new year for you guys all right archangel michael and Allegra, please protect me protect my mind my body and my spirit clear on my chakras as we tap in to see what's the most important messages headed to the collective's way for this new year oh wow when one door closes another one opens that's exactly what i heard with this index card all right there there has been a lot of endings and a lot of transformations that you've been undergoing in your life right now so that way you do not step into 2024 with any type of baggage any type of guilt any type of grieving all right there's a lot of endings that you just undergone all right to prepare you for this next level in your life all right the skulls signifies endings all right and it signifies endings are at hand in your life right now it is a very powerful symbol when it comes to your mind, all right, and clarity and connected with, you know, your ancestors, all right? But it also signifies a circle of life, both endings and how those endings birth your new beginnings, all right? You could be experiencing the end of a relationship, the end of a job or a phase in life. But it's very imperative that you give yourself space to grieve this ending because you don't want to bring that into 2024. You learned the lessons. So allow this time and space to accept things for what they are, accept everything, and process your emotions. Big, big message on not feeling like you having to rush anything. This is more of a time where you're processing your emotions and really feeling how you feel around people, whether it is welcome and has been a long time coming or a sudden unexpected change. Change is often uncomfortable, guys. All right, but this symbol is urging you to look at endings with a different perspective and I think that that's what y'all did. The plants right here, pictured growing from that skull, that vase, you see that? It symbolizes growth that couldn't occur after an ending. It signifies your mind being right after an ending. It signifies your capacity and your capability to continue to move forward after an ending. And endings act as fertile ground and soil for us, for whatever you decide to plant next. So... It's best to give yourself grace right now because you're experiencing these transitions and this transformational process that's preparing you for a fresh new start. Okay, a fresh new start in 2024 where there's no karmic debt needing to be paid. There's no karma needing to be owed. You're just getting back all your good karma because of the results of your actions. All right? You could be, you know, getting over you know, mourning a lot of deaths in your family or grieving a lot of things that you had to let go. Um, there could have been some very difficult endings you just experienced and now you're finally understanding why that had to close out. But now you're accepting that you can't change everything. And when one door closes, another one opens. So this is a big deal for you guys. All right, yeah, exactly. You guys been receiving a lot of messages, all right? A lot of synchronicities, a lot of epiphanies, a lot of dreams, all right? This is the messages from the universe, all right? The readings that you've been getting. There's been a lot of reconfirming and reassuring messages that's coming from wherever you're being directed to receive these messages from, all right? You might be even waking up, not in your best mood, but you go outside and you see a billboard saying not to give up. These are the messages that the universe is sending out right now because you are on to the next level of your life. Also, the number seven is the chariot energy. So th these are messages coming towards you of perseverance in your, in your situation. 
This is messages of assured success over any conflict that you're going through, any financial challenges that you're going through, any relationship or job problems. These are messages that you did the work and you have nothing to fear about. So you could proceed with confidence. These are divine, special delivery that you've been receiving. All right? And if you find a feather on a walkthrough or like randomly, it's connecting you to uh, another spiritual real, like saying like your guys are with you, you never by yourself. For some of you guys, you feel alone at times because of all these endings. And spirit is just saying, you got to be comfortable with being uncomfortable at times. You got to come, you got to be comfortable with relying on yourself sometimes. So right now, as this week, the last week of this year, be open and receptive to a lot of messages the universe is sending at you this time. All right? This is going to be messages that are surrounded by a lot of angels. And it's going to be as a reminder to be open to their wisdom and guidance. Whether they send somebody in, whether they send in a friend, whether they're telling you to upgrade on a new job or something. Be receptive. Because this is an upgrade. This is a door opening after one door or many doors have closed for you. This is also signifying a loved one that has transitioned over in life is watching over you and wants you to go along and be encouraged in life. There's going to be a lot of insightful synchronicities and symbols and messages coming your way this week. So be very mindful that you receive them. Allow your mind to be free. All right. This is also signifying, guys, that you are on the right path. Pay attention to all the messages that you are receiving because you are on the right path. All right. Also, someone wants you to communicate. Someone wants to communicate with you. All right. Somebody that is not physically here like physically maybe they are i don't know but somebody wants to communicate with you so look out for meaningful a meaningful call text something okay all right spirit give me give me some more on this energy Wow, you are transitioning into a new cycle, y'all. The butterfly. All right, this is you are metamorphosing into the new you, into your higher self. You are finally leaving the nest. You have finally earned your wings. And you know what's so crazy? So I just learned that a butterfly cannot see its wings. Only the people on the outside can see their wings. So they don't even know how beautiful they are. They don't know that going through that cocoon process, that very, very uncomfortable period, leading to when they transition to beautiful butterflies, they don't even see their colors and their prints. So I feel like that's for you too. Like so much people see you as beautiful and as amazing, but you need to see yourself as that no matter if you're not able to see what others could see. Everybody sees something different. All right, so this is, you know, for a lot of you guys, you're experiencing many changes and even feel like you're transforming into a whole new person. This is a process that is not always pretty, y'all, or comfortable. Think about a caterpillar, right? You know, you must break them. They, 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 they must break themselves down completely before they can remake themselves into that butterfly. That's what you had to do. You had to be broken down completely before you could be rebuilt back up into a stronger you. You might be in a process of shedding who you used to be by moving away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you no more. But also remember, you know, remember this, like metamorphosis happens over time and there is no need to rush the process. 
This is a painful process of transformation and growing pains. All right, but it's preparing you for the next step of your journey in 2024. You say you're being set up. You're being caused in position for certain things. You even may be considering changing the way you present yourself, including your appearance or who you attracting or who you attracted to. All of that is changing. Because this is a time to make those changes, baby. All right? The person you are becoming is aligned with your higher self right now. So free yourself from any type of concerns and welcome in the ways that's going to emerge you, right? And push you into this beautifully transformed person. Because in 2024, baby, you are transformed. All right? Change, this change is for the better. All right, space for the new version of you, you've made. Okay, opportunities to change your ways is here. Even your, your, your social circle has or will change. So be prepared. Okay, be prepared. I'm trying to see what cards I want to use because like this. Whew. All right, so let's use these. All right, so spirit, let's get more on this endings. Wow, your energy is cleansed. All right, you've been cleansing your energy by doing a lot of things it's not only saging that cleanses your energy collectives you've been speaking to the right people or you've been cutting cutting the right people off you have not been engaging into any conversations that's low vibrational or that's gossip that's another way of cleansing your energy and your aura eating right or at least trying to trying to put in that effort to watch what you're eating as far as the ingredients not even the calories the ingredients The difficult changes you've made, the difficult sacrifices that you've made to let go of certain things was life-changing and has followed you up until this time and will follow you forever, all right? A lot of you guys have removed all toxic energy or, or, or are in the process of removing all to toxic energy. You're thriving right now. It is something about your energy that within these endings that you're going through, you're still thriving because you're more conscious about the people, places, and things around you. You're more conscious on the choices you're making. And the more conscious you are, the more good and wise choices you will make. And that's going to feel cleansed. You're going to feel more happy. When you wake up, you're going to have more energy. You're going to be thriving throughout the day instead of being tired or feeling like you're overworking yourself about something, overthinking. All right, so this is a lot of cleanse energy that you are bringing into 2024. For some of you guys, you're even learning how to cleanse. All right, so these are doors opening for you. All right, for a lot of you guys that ended a lot of things, you're throwing a lot of things out. You are revamping your, your space, okay? You are clearing out a lot of things. You, you are reorganizing, all right? So this is a lot of cleanse energy, y'all. Spirit, give me more on this messages, this feather, please and thank you. Look, boundaries, exactly. You are not playing with people. You finally are not being naive. You finally are not allowing people to use you as a doormat. You finally are standing up for yourself, all right? And making it very, very clear what line not to cross when it comes to you. All right, you have zero tolerance for stupidity right now, and people know what line not to cross because you drew it. Okay, because you drew it. You are now implementing healthy boundaries, all right, where it's letting people know you're not easily, all right, um, easily ac uh, accessible anymore. All right, there's a lot of people that used to have a lot of access to you that no longer have easy access to you no more. All right, and you're making it clear. And with this, 
with this certain level of confidence and uh, keeping the commitments to yourself to want to change, all right? A lot of people even make may feel like you're moving different. All right, so what? <laughs> so what? You are moving different. You're moving cleansed. All right, back and all of that bummed out negativity out your life. All right, so I'm hearing no message is a message. Sometimes, you know, you don't even have to feed into it. They just know what line not to cross with you. All right. So there's a lot of messages, not only from the divine that's been coming to you, but there's a lot of messages that you've been sending out to people about drawing a line. Staying in your place. Not abusing your authority when it comes to you. Not invade, invading your privacy, you know. So a lot of messages been sent out. All right, and this, these messages came with endings. All right, for you to be cleansed, whole, and new for this new cycle in your life. Spirit, um, yeah, look, a lot is changing. A lot is changing with these moon cycles, baby. And the moon is divine feminine energy. No matter if you are a man or a woman, you are tapping in to how you feel more. You are tapping into your emotions more. You are prioritizing how you want to be loved, how you want to be treated, how you want to be valued at work in a relationship with family. All right, so Spirit, give me, um, what is this called? This is a, this is, hold on. All right, yellow aura. I know somebody glowing, <laughs> glowing as hell. Spirit, give me more on this metamorphosis, please. Wow. This past life regression cause is symbolic to you clearing out all karmic debt. You don't owe nothing to nobody. No matter if you was the one who done wrong in the past, no matter if you learned from no mistakes, you do not owe nobody nothing no more. All right. You the way you was pursuing yourself up until now and things, the way you was handling how to set healthy boundaries and cleansing out your energy has literally freed you from all karmic debt and things that will hold you back. All of your financial challenges, all of any blockages, any type of interferences have been lifted. Any type of restraint that's been set to limit you has been lifted. It is time. It, 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 it's time. It is at this appointed time. It was for you to grow and transition and leave the nest out of somewhere. All right. It was time for you to metamorphose into this beautiful, higher self that you are now. All right. A lot of shit is changing over time. All right. And time is on your hands. Time is on your hands. I feel like there was a lot of time wasted with a lot of people, too. All right. So this is you healing from a lot of your karma. All right. This is you ending and terminating a lot of your karmic contracts. That you felt obligated to stay in. This is you not feeling like anything needs to be validated from you. You learned. You went through shit. All right. So this is about to be a more smoother ride for you in 2024. No baggage. You're free to set healthy boundaries. You're cleansed. You're good with endings. You have transformed. And there's a lot of messages that you've been sending out and receiving. So I am so excited for you guys. I love you. And let's get some closing out messages. So, Spirit, what is the closing out messages for the collectives? Please and thank you. All right, I'm getting cool to change the deck. So, there's definitely a closing out message for you guys. Because Spirit said change the deck. All right, so let's see. What's the closing out messages for the collective, Spirit? Oh, wow. The last card, the world card. It's a riddle. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's the end of the year. I'm getting like, oh. <laughs> um, it's a wrap. We just going to say like that. It's a wrap. Everything you are leaving behind, you're finally replaying past events. You're finally replaying how people really, really treated you, observing after you leveled up. And things are finally in the past. For some of you guys, there's somebody that is finding it hard to move on and keep playing outdated events. 
All right, but this is a very, very important message that whatever is in the past is in the past for good. Okay, wow. And there's somebody coming towards you or, all right, so for you ladies, there's somebody that's coming towards you. And for you masculines out there, you feel better. You feel more confident. You feel like you in your element. You finally feel like your vision is coming together. All right, so when one door closes and wrap up, another one opens and you really start living in your moment you'll be surprised how much of a relationship can hold you back you'll be surprised how much of the wrong people in the wrong environments and the wrong things you're doing for your occupation can really hold you back y'all are ready you hear me y'all are ready for a lot of you guys you're done you're done with being the go-to person to stick all responsibilities and problems on all right you're done with that and when you made that final decision to say hey i am not a person where everything has to be put on them when it comes to responsibilities you made that decision the moon card is like your intuition it's like your spidey senses going off it's like you're finally seeing people for who they are and how people were treating you and how you was allowing people to treat you because we, we all got to take some type of you know um ownership okay but now after you said uh, uh all of that shit is leaving be, is being left behind in 2023 all right you look better than ever you feeling better than ever all right you catching flights not feelings right now so that's what i have you guys i love you without doubt